Saturday the 31st of August 2024. First reading. Reading from the first book of Corinthians. Take yourselves for instance, brothers, at the time when you were called, how many of you were wise in the ordinary sense of the word, how many were influential people or came from noble families. No, it was to shame the wise that God chose what is foolish by human reckoning, and to shame what is strong that he chose what is weak by human reckoning. Those whom the world thinks common and contemptible are the ones that God has chosen, those who are nothing at all to show up those who are everything. The human race has nothing to boast about to God, but you, God has made members of Christ Jesus, and by God's doing he has become our wisdom, and our virtue, and our holiness, and our freedom. As scripture says, if anyone wants to boast, let him boast about the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. You will shine in the world like bright stars, because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Matthew. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like a man on his way abroad who summoned his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, each in proportion to his ability. Then he set out. The man who had received the five talents promptly went and traded with them and made five more. The man who had received two made two more in the same way. But the man who had received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. Now a long time after, the master of those servants came back and went through his accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents came forward bringing five more. Sir, he said you entrusted me with five talents. Here are five more that I have made. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Next the man with the two talents came forward. Sir, he said you entrusted me with two talents. Here are two more that I have made. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Last came forward the man who had the one talent. Sir, said he, I had heard you were a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered. So I was afraid, and I went off and hid your talent in the ground. Here it is, it was yours, you have it back. But his master answered him, you wicked and lazy servant. So you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered. Well then, you should have deposited my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have recovered my capital with interest. So now, take the talent from him and give it to the man who has the five talents. For to everyone who has will be given more, and he will have more than enough. But from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. As for this good-for-nothing servant, throw him out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Gospel of the Lord